it's a two-person job to fix. Truthfully, it feels like the only success I had today was, uh, was breaking things. Oh, guys, I'm so unbelievably excited about making this video because it's officially the kickoff of the build of the new shop. This is going to be an amazing series that I cannot wait to embark on with you guys because we are all collectively going to go from cradle to completion with Enthusiast World Headquarters 3.0. I cannot believe that this day is finally here and we are officially breaking ground. Now we're about to get into this massive transformative process here in just a few minutes because Jake had actually filmed a whole bunch of footage for me and for us while I was down in Florida with my wife. We were down in Siesta Key. We happened to plan this trip months ago and of course Hurricane Elsa came through but Elsa was very much overplayed by the weather channel. It was nothing but a little bit of wind and rain fortunately thankfully and I very much enjoyed my time away but I was excited to get home because of what I'm looking at here which you guys are about to watch unfold before we get into that i just gotta say i'm absolutely loving the 2021 at4 duramax that we debuted last week on the channel and i'm super excited not only about how good the truck looks but also about the story of how i adopted this thing from josh out in california if you guys missed that video just to recap he had actually built this 2021 at4 essentially off of what he absorbed from my youtube channel the cognito leveling kit the fox shocks with resis the paint match mirrors fender flip and the Boost Auto Parts lights on the fenders to replace those orange ones, the 2214s with the 355 Nittos. And to top it off, he had the Enthusiast key tags and bullet antennas to match. I'm ever so grateful to continue to have the opportunity to connect with you as the like-minded enthusiast and then to be given the chance to buy a subscriber's truck that literally followed the channel for such a long time, man, that is just priceless. Now we're about to jump into the footage right now, but I just want to let you guys know we're still waiting from Compliance Sweepstakes Services to learn of the giveaway winner for Dream Diesel Giveaway number 18. So stay tuned for that. We're looking at July 13th to the 18th as our expected announcement date. I cannot wait to find out who's going to be taking that truck home and if it's you. And last but not least, Dream Diesel Giveaway number 19 is tentatively going to launch right here at the end of July. You are most certainly not going to want to miss what's up and coming. I'm so excited to make the announcement. After seven long months, the shop has finally started. Finally. We got Kramer excavating out here, getting the site ready for where the building is going. He's got his SBL 75-2 doing some work right now. So up in the front right corner, it's a little higher than what it is in the back. So what he's doing is he's cutting that out out there and bringing it all back here to try and bring the back up to level with the front. Guys, let me tell you what, watching someone that runs one of these machines every day is just incredible. It's like, it's fluid. It's, a, it's an extension of this man's arm. It's just, he's done in an hour what would take me three years to do. So it's just, it's incredible to watch and appreciate someone of this skill set. I'm 
for this So if I'm wrong for this Then I'll get gone for this But if I made it this far Then I can't slack now You say it can't be done But I was on the run Yeah, I was born for this But through the storm for this So if I'm wrong for this Then I'll get gone for this But if I made it this far Then I can't slack now You say it can't be done But I was born to run I'm unbreakable Unshakable. All right, guys, day two of excavation for the shop, finally. Seven months in the making. Jack, hats off to you for remaining patient through this process, however you did it. And now your shop is literally being built. Excavation day two requires big excavator. Well, basically the reason that's here is there's a couple more big rocks and some seriously big stumps over there that those guys just couldn't handle. So we brought the big guns out and he's going to pluck those right out this morning, finish leveling this. And then we got a rain garden to dig somewhere back there. So let's get to it. for the shop is done. All it needs now is a pole barn sitting like right there. Got it nice and rolled, nice and flat. Level within two inches all the way around. Got that massive rock out yesterday, which you guys saw. It was a tiny rock, you know, not that big. But yeah, that guy right there. It's got a little bit of size to it. It's not that large. Who am I kidding? That's, oh my God, that's huge. But we got it out and that's all that matters. The pad is all rolled, all leveled, ready to be built on essentially. Got the pieces for the stormwater management back there, all the dirt that we're gonna use for stormwater management. He'll be back sometime next week, I think, to start working on the stormwater stuff. But in just two short days, we have literally what we need to start the shop. Now it's been raining nonstop since I've gotten home, but you guys can see now we have what is our subgrade complete. It's within a tolerance of about two inches plus or minus subgrade. Subgrade is the grade that we're shooting for before we add any other alterations, which would basically be our stone, like a 2A modified stone. And then what will go on top of that is our concrete or our finish grade of the slab. So we've got a nice pad manicured here. It sits at about 100 foot wide and about 65 foot deep. We've got our little marker flags. Those are actually our square of our building. So we've got our 80 long by our 60 60 deep and this is where the foundation has been officially manicured for Enthusiast World Headquarters 3.0. Now this is not the final, we still have to do some touch up work in specific areas, but at least we got a great jump start. We've officially written page number one of this entirely new chapter. As I mentioned before, I'm gonna do my absolute best to document as much of it as possible while physically building this thing with the help of some very good friends. Now that being said, we have a small little break in the weather and I've got some other things that I gotta take care of around the homestead that I want to bring you guys along with. So let's jump into it. All right, boys, welcome to my head. <laughs> got a good perspective on what we're going to be doing today. We got the skid steer with the grapple bucket ready to rip, but we also need the brush hog to clear out some of our additional space. And look, man, we've got Peter Cottontail chilling over here. A little, what's up, man? I'm surprised that he's just chilling there that close to me. I'm sorry, I don't mean to disrupt your meal, dude, but I got to grab this attachment. All right, we got our lines out of the way. We're gonna pick that up with that so we can bring both of them back at the same time. Got a bunch of sticks and stuff down from the storm that came through the other day. Tree down there. All right, look at the landscape of opportunity. Probably shouldn't yell, there's wildlife back here. We got our trail camera over there from last year. That thing is all ready to rock and roll. New batteries are working great. We've got some deer out here. Haven't seen many buck, which is kind of a little disappointing. I had high hopes, but we got a lot of doe, which is a really good sign. I have one buck on camera thus far. He's decent, he could grow into something with potential. He's got his velvet on now. I'm hoping that I can catch some more, but only time will tell. That's kind of the exciting part. So probably difficult to see through camera, but there's a line that runs up this tree line to the left, and then it kind of zigzags around up to that tree line up there. You can see the difference in the shrubs and the growth. We've got some grass and weeds here versus all the briars and whatnot up there, the overgrowth. This was my food plot from last year. 
here. We're gonna refresh that. There's a tree that fell down. It's kind of buried right over here in the brush. There's some other cleaning I'm gonna do up on this trail because there's a few trees that fell down. And then we're gonna strap up to the brush hog. So we're gonna grab all that stuff here real quick. And then the plan after that is to expand the food plot. I think I'm gonna try and take it up the hill just a little bit further and over to the right just a little bit more. Oh man, it's raining. Luckily, we have the protection of an EROPS cab, but that means it's gonna get a little messy. Like that enclosed cab a lot. First time running the brush hog with the 90. Last time I used this attachment, we were in the old Cat 259. Worked great on that thing, so I'd imagine it's gonna work even better on this big old unit. Gloves are starting to get soggy. It's the only downfall about doing this kind of stuff in the rain, but it is what it is. Feels so good demolishing these thorn bushes, man. I hate these prickly little things. They are the worst. Oh, well, looks like we might have blew a line somewhere in there because we are covered in hydraulic fluid right now. And that is not good, so we are gonna disconnect our lines so we don't waste any more than we need to. It seems like things got a little hot and I was just about to connect my trail too, of course, but, ooh, slippery. We are definitely making some good progress, that is for sure. A lot of rocks though. Lots and lots and lots of rocks. Ugh. We unfortunately popped a line with the brush hog, so that's gonna kinda stop our activities with that for the afternoon, but we still have a little bit of cleaning up we can do with the grapple here. I did make some good progress, I got up probably about another 50 foot to the top of the food plot. And then I was working on my cutting away over to my one tree stand, which is kind of buried up there. I was hoping to cut that all out, then swoop around and knock this area out here before we sprung that leak. I, I could plow it all out with, with a grapple bucket here, but then we're gonna create a really big pile and I'm trying to limit the amount of piles I have. Plus, when you shred up all that plant matter, it creates good nutrient-rich type biodegradable material for the soil and it, it's just a two for one. So we're not gonna clean up this area here today with the grapple bucket, although uh, I was hoping that we could get it done. Leaks happen, it's all part of the game. <laughs> oh no, guys, this is terrible news. Uh, kicked the track off trying to cut a new path with the grapple bucket. Through here, it just got treacherously rocky. I mean, every single turn, spot, location, angle, direction, path was just rock infested. What I wanted to do as like literally my last cut of the day was connect my one stand, which is right up at the top of this hill, to my other stand, which is right here, to the food plot, which is right there. And then I've got another access trail that kind of cut through here. This is part of what I've wanted to do for a really long time in the woods specifically, because right now, 
it is very much not usable by any means. It's all just overgrowth and briars and ticks and everything else. But uh, now I'm in a, now I'm in quite of a doozy. Hey, the track I kicked off. It's a two person job to fix. I'm probably just gonna have to wait. And Kick the track off in probably one of the worst spots imaginable. Not only is the unit somewhat on a hill, which is fine, which isn't even the bad part. It's more or less just all of that that's in the way. So this, uh, this, 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 should, this should be fun. This should be a lot of fun. I hate myself right now. Truthfully, it feels like the only success I had today was uh, was breaking things. <laughs> it's just like one of those days that you just kind of feel like everything you do ends up resulting in the opposite of what you're looking to accomplish. But hey, it is what it is. I'm not in the least bit upset about it. We've I'm going to bring in some new hoses for the brush hog because one actually had a little bit of a nick in it. I think that could have potentially been the cause of the leak or it seemed like one of the fittings was loose. So I tightened that, but I'm going to get all new hoses anyway, because with hydraulics, to those of you that know, it's just better to be safe than sorry and then try and get another job done and then you're kind of in a boat without a paddle and yeah the skid steer is still stuck getting currently down poured on because it's that 84 though oh my god that is a beautiful front end i love it so freaking much in that plate though oh oh it's fantastic but yeah jake will be here tomorrow he's gonna help me get squared away I actually brought the hedge clipper back there we trimmed up all of the thorns and briars so we're gonna use our big breaker bar here and uh, we have a pretty solid process of getting that back on. At first it looked a little intimidating because of all the shrubbery that was containing the unit, but I cleared that all back and now we're ready to rock and roll. And I also, while we were back there, used what could be your Can-Am 1000 to cruise around. And man, I've learned quickly that I absolutely have a very important need for something like that here on the property. I don't know if I'm gonna go with another 1000 Renegade like that, although I would love to. I also have a need for utilities, the ability to put stuff in the back, especially with going to the back of the property for hunting reasons and, and anything else that comes along with property ownership, which I continue to learn honestly every day, which I love. I feel so grateful. So that being said, boys, we're going to wrap up this upload. As always, stay on the lookout for the announcement of Dream Diesel Giveaway number 18's winners. There's going to be nine of you. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, tap that thumbs up. Look forward to the series unfolding for the new shop. Can't wait. I said that a million times, but I feel like this is a justification for repetition. And I'll see y'all in the next upload. In order to make all the whirly parts this beautiful color, climb up here. In order to make all that look that good. <laughs>